Despite the common perception that humans are rulers of the earth, animal-related deaths remain high, causing over 2 million fatalities each year. However, with millions of different creatures on land, water, and in the air, most animals don't contribute much to these fatalities. Only a few animals are responsible for most of these fatalities. In today's video, the deadliest animal is surprisingly unknown and seems harmless. If you saw it in the wild, you would likely think it was safe. And that is the freshwater snail. You may not have heard of these little guys, but they are quite common. They live in various ecosystems like lakes, ponds, rivers, dams, and streams around the world. So far, over 5,000 species of these snails have been found on every continent except Antarctica, because the extreme cold there is too harsh for them to survive. Freshwater snails are incredibly diverse due to the high number of species. When it comes to their size, the smallest are tinier than a fingertip, while the largest, the island apple snail, can grow up to 15 centimeters, 5.9 inches long. The color and shape of freshwater snails widely varies. However, almost all still have traits common to other snails that make them highly successful. One of these traits is the snail's shell, made by its mantle organ. This organ secrets calcium carbonate, which hardens into a protective shell. They have a flexible diet, eating almost anything in their environments like dead plants, dead fish, and other organic waste. These traits make freshwater snails highly successful, yet they are not typically deadly to humans. This raises the question, why do so many people perish because of freshwater snails? The answer is not something that they have, but rather something that lays in them. Flukes, scientifically known as Digenia. This large class of flatworms includes over 6,000 species, most of which are harmless to humans. However, 12 of these are infectious to people, with one being particularly dangerous. Schistosoma, known as blood flukes, have a reputation for causing misery and death. This parasite is mainly found in Africa, Asia, and South America, where it relies on freshwater snails to infect people. The cycle begins when infected people's feces release blood fluke eggs into the water. These eggs enter snails, either by penetrating their skin or being ingested. Inside the snails, the flukes mature and are then released back into the water. They can then infect people who come into contact with the water through their skin or by eating infected fish, continuing the cycle. Sometimes, infected people don't experience any symptoms and are lucky. There is some good news. Efforts to control freshwater snail populations have reduced infections. Public awareness has also helped by reducing exposure to this disease. It's a reminder that if you live in a high-risk area, it might be safer to avoid contact with contaminated water. And that's for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay tuned with us.